In this video, I'm going to show you the secret to running match coverage against the spread offense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with all the latest tips and strategies going on right here on the channel. Now in today's video, like I said, we're going to be talking about some match coverage. We're going to be talking about how to leverage this against spread, how to make this very, very effective for you. Um, and so as we dive into today's video, I do want to remind you that if you have not already gotten my Nickel 335 defensive ebook, it is on sale for just 15 bucks, and it goes through the entire 335 defense. So it covers not just match coverage, it does cover a lot of match coverage. Um, has about an hour of breakdowns on match coverage. It also has um, several hours of breakdowns on zone drop coverage, as well as several hours of breakdown on man-to-man um, -man coverage and blitzing and pressures and all those things and run defense as well. So if you want to get my complete defensive guide, that is the best way, in my opinion, to get better on defense because it literally walks you through what an entire defensive game plan looks like. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is going over that cover four uh, show cover four show two as you can see right here this is the defense that we want to run and basically what we're going to do is we're going to blitz our user we're going to shift our d-line to the right and then from there the biggest thing that we have to work worry about whenever we're playing quarters coverage is the fact is that you're more than likely it's actually very very common that you're going to see some type of like deep post route that can give us some issues so i'll show you the post route right here and as you can see it beats the cover four quarters right there just like that that's exactly the problem, or that's like the, one of the biggest struggles whenever playing gun buck, or um, gun spread, is that they have, in with within the offense, they have these really, really good post drops. I'll show you the same thing on the right. Now on the right side, it won't get as open because you have a better corner on the right, but as you can see here, it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup, basically. Um, the same thing would be true if I were to audible, um, let's see if I can find the play here, if I were to audible here to PA read, um, if you see here, I've got this this right here. So I'm going to go down to the quarter coverage. If you just watch the routes, um, it's not that the route kills it, but it kind of does because he's got route tech. As you can see, he gets over the top. It's a one on one. That's that's the that's the deal. It's a, it's a one on one um, thing. Okay. So how do we combat that? What do we do? Well, what I like to do is typically. Um, typically, what's going to happen is there's going to be kind of a tell. Okay, so what I could do, you'll see, like if they audible here, I wouldn't necessarily know that the post route's coming one way or the other. But if you take a look at a short side post, a short side post, which means we're going to run the post to the short side of the field, there's a lot less opportunity for you to get bombed on that side of the field. So typically, it's it's kind of almost what we want to try to do is a roll coverage technique, essentially. So how that's practically going to look is we need to take one of these two guys, okay, one of these two guys, and we need to put them in the deep blue zone. That's what we really need to do, and that's gonna take that all away. So you'll see here, I'm gonna put this guy here, just like this. And then from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, how can I leverage How can I leverage this coverage so that we get proper matching principles all across the board? Well, the first way that I can do that is through putting my defensive lineman on a three-rec hook zone. So I put him, put him on a bluff blitz. So the outside defensive lineman goes on a bluff blitz. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, basically, I'm going to put both of my linebackers on seam flats, okay? I really like to do that, that adjustment right there, that's how that looks right there, just like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that triangle corner, and I am going, that slot corner, and I am going to man him up on whoever I want to, okay? I could do the same thing with the linebacker if I wanted to do that. But typically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna man that slot corner up in the inside leverage on the guy on that side. So it looks, it would look something like this right here, okay? Now this by itself will typically do a decent job. So if I, were, if I ran the play PA read, you'll see here I've got inside and outside technique on him. Um, I've got a lot of coverage. As you can see, we get the SWAT. That's exactly what we're looking for, okay? The problem is what happens when they flip this play just like so which means that you as a defense would probably want to flip your play, okay? So we could do the same exact setup here. And now what we've done is we've made a triangle over here on the circle, okay? So you see, that's what it looks like. 
But the problem is we still have that one-on-one -on -one opportunity. As you can see, and he's going to roast him. And as you can see right there, it's a dot over the top. Easy, easy, easy touchdown. What we have to do is we have to figure out, okay, who is the person that we can basically trade and how can we do this in a practical manner? Well, the way that we do it is we're going to basically trade who matches onto who. So the way this is practically going to look is we're going to have this defense that looks exactly like I just said, and we're going to use that mean to mean coverage on the slot corner side. And then all we're going to do is we are simply going to take the safety that is on that side. In this example, it's going to be King. We're going to put him into an inside third. Okay, and the reason why is because we, if we wanted to, we could do that. If we wanted to, we could do that right there. Okay, that would be, that might be even smarter. Okay, just man the slot up on the slot. And you got press man coverage there. And then what's gonna happen is, now no matter who runs that skinny post, because the skinny post is the problem, you now have a skinny post defender. Just like that, easy interception. Okay, so let me go over that one more time with you, uh, just so you can kind of get a grasp on what's happening. Um, so how this is going to work is we're going to go around and that come four show two, okay? And we're going to shift our D line to the right. We're going to put both our linebackers in seam flats, our defensive end in a bluff blitz, just like this, okay? And then we're going to take that slot. We're going to man him up on whoever he's over the top of. So in this example, he's over the top of triangle. That's who he gets manned up on. He's going to basically press and take triangle out of the play, okay? And then from that point, and I like to shade inside. As you see, it kind of moves them a little bit. And then from that point, we're just going to put – a man, um, an inside third on that side because we don't need a quarter to match the slot because we now have somebody that's going to be able to do that. So now um, it really doesn't matter what they do, what routes they put on the field. Um, and I'll show you the shell cross play and I'll show it to you from this direction. Okay. And we'll use a slant and we'll use, you know, we'll just use everything that we can think of. Right. And at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see here, and again, your user and kind of right in here, you know, just work over the middle. You know, there is nothing open. There's literally nothing open. So that is the beauty of the nickel 335 wide defense. And so if you want to get my nickel 335 wide defense, the complete edition of it that breaks down all of the coverage schemes, all the blitzes that you could possibly do from it and be very, very effective with it, it also walks you step by step through how to stop some of the most powerful formations in Madden 21. You can get that defense in the description for just 15 bucks. All you gotta do is head down there, click the link. It'll take you right there to get the guide really really simple checkout process and then you'll get an email with the ebook um, it's a written in it's a written uh, book as well as a video book so it has it's writing and it has video breakdown so thanks for your time I hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something if you did uh, leave a like rating on the video I'd appreciate it if you have any questions feel free to text me my number is 208-218-6900 and if you want to get that ebook or that guide like I said it is going to be available in the description